My name is Mark Lamontia. Since we have to do these videos at home, I thought I'd sit in front of this nice Christmas tree. Hope you like that. Also, bear with me because I got a lot of props on my left and my right to show you during this talk. I want to tell you the story of how I helped to pioneer something I call application engineering in DuPont. I joined DuPont back in 1979, right from the university. Like most DuPont engineers, I worked on problems in the manufacturing facilities, the plants. We wanted more product out of those plants and improved product quality. Fast forward to 1986, that's when my career changed forever because I was asked to develop something new called application engineering. What's that? Well, instead of working on DuPont materials, could we work on the applications that DuPont materials went into? Could we help customers engineer DuPont materials into their applications? Could we work to overcome the challenges that our customers had in adopting our materials? I was excited and eager to meet this challenge, but how did this happen? There were some provocative changes that had to occur. We had to convert from working on plant equipment to helping customers adopt DuPont materials in their products. We had to work for the benefit of DuPont and our customers at the same time and actively contribute to their success. This would be good for them, good for us, and good for their customers, the consumer. Finally, application engineering is done on every project. Could some of it be done in-house by us? What a novel concept. Instead of working on high-speed equipment to make materials for the world, I would focus on the customer's products to help them adopt DuPont materials for success in their applications. So how about an example? Let me give an example from earlier in my career with Kevlar. You've all heard of Kevlar. It's a fiber that's five times stronger than steel. Kevlar is used in many applications, perhaps the most notable being military vests used by our soldiers and military helmets. This is the real thing, the vests and helmets that soldiers wear in combat. We want to protect our soldiers, and that can readily happen by surrounding them with a huge amount of Kevlar. But a fully loaded soldier carries 100 pounds of gear. Try wearing that all day in combat. What if we could make these vests and these helmets lighter in weight? And imagine if we were the best partner to help our customers make the Kevlar vests and helmets more effective at stopping bullets and battlefield shrapnel. Enter application engineering. Internally, this involved growing a team with entirely new sets of capabilities. First, we needed a team that could understand our materials in all loading modes. Second, we needed a team that could do experimental mechanics to see why the bullet stops. We did that, and I'll show you an example with Kevlar vest packs like this. Here you see the bullet being stopped in a high-speed video by a Kevlar ballistic panel and a simulation that shows the very same thing. They match. The fact that they match means this simulation lets you see inside the material. It reveals all the physical mechanisms that are involved to stop a bullet along with the degree to which the material properties play through those mechanisms to stop a bullet in a couple inches. Once we understand those mechanisms, we can and did invent solutions to make the vests and the helmets lighter. The team arranged the Kevlar in specific shapes to take advantage of the knowledge of the physical mechanisms. Interesting, right? Did we change the Kevlar to make the vests and helmets stop bullets better? No. DuPont, a materials company, worked the vest design and the helmet design to result in a series of new lighter weight military vests and helmets with ever improving performance. How rewarding. This story with its twists and turns resulted in life-saving body armor to protect those who protect us. Hard to think of something more worthy than that. 
Building the application engineering team was a huge challenge. We converted plant equipment engineers to application engineers working with customers in our laboratories and theirs. Over time, we've worked with hundreds of companies. Both the customer and ourselves have important roles to play. Customers own the problem and the requirements. DuPont understands our materials better than anyone. Customers can test the device or system and answer the, how does it work question, how well? DuPont can analyze the material and structure and can answer the, why did it work and why did it fail question. What's so intriguing about this approach is that it's applicable across all DuPont platforms. Here's a timely product development example. Tyvek for medical packaging. What's so special about medical packaging? Actually, a lot. If you're in the hospital for an operation or in the back of an ambulance with a critical injury, all the devices from sutures to knee or hip implants come in sterile medical packages. These must be sterilized, stay sterile, and protected until the point of use in medical, surgical, or dental offices, for example. The best ones are encased in a sealed package of film and Tyvek that is then sterilized. To get these things to work, we need three things on the Tyvek. First, they have to be a barrier for bugs. The magic is the packages are sealed first with the contents inside. Tyvek, once sealed, stops the bacteria, but allows sterilant gases to enter and escape so that the package is and stays a barrier for bacteria. Think a perfect air filter. Secondly, the package must open smoothly as silk. That's how a nurse knows the sterile barrier remained intact, by feel. If the opening is jerky, the nurse knows the seal had been violated. It's not easy to achieve a silky smooth opening package. For example, imagine pulling those white labels off of cardboard boxes that come to your door and having that feel smooth. Not so easy. And third, the package cannot tear when opened like this. You can never have a tear like that. Again, try getting those labels to come off of a magazine or cardboard box without getting a tear. Pretty hard to achieve. A big challenge is getting all the desired attributes at the same time. To stop the bacteria, we want fluffy air filter Tyvek. But fluffy Tyvek would tear. To stop the tears, we want the Tyvek to act like a film, completely the opposite from air filter Tyvek. In fact, the things done to stop the bacteria make it harder to prevent a tear. But we did it. How? By working with the sterile package manufacturers directly, by simulating and modeling the packages, by experimental tests, by material characterization of the Tyvek and the film, and by invention and by inventing a new bulletproof Tyvek, pardon that pun, that stops bacteria better, opens silky smooth, and never tears. This helps our customers, the package and sterile device manufacturers, and helps hospital patients by re re reducing their risk of infection. Sterile medical packaging is one of those things that we kind of take for granted when you really think about it. I would imagine, given the COVID pandemic, maybe now more than ever, we can appreciate the importance of Tyvek medical packaging. Personally, it's a source of pride for me. I guess that's why I can't resist myself when I go to the doctor's office. I always ask for the open medical packages. I examine them closely, and without fail, they say, what in the world are you doing? And I say, I was on the team that made these things. The luster never wears off for me. Which brings me back to application engineering. DuPont is good at application engineering. Whether it's ballistics, medical packaging, or countless other innovations, it's good for us and it's good for our customers. Both the customers and DuPont bring capabilities to the partnership. 
Those partnerships enhance both our capabilities and we create value together. When it works, it's a delight and it makes something good for the world. Thanks. Mm -hmm.